so to start you off understanding how we ha we use JSON to talk back and forth between the client and the server, um, I've created a simple MVC4 application. Um, this is the only view that I have. It's the home view right here in the home folder. Um, there's really nothing going on here um, that we haven't done before. There's one just one div in the middle of the screen. Um, I've included some. I've included jQuery and my own JavaScript file and my own cascading style sheet. But other than that, I have just this one div that's using the razor views to um, look into the model and print something from the model, uh, send something from the server side to the client side in the model. So um, let's look what this what this is over here. So in the model for the page, all I have is this one variable, which is a list of person objects. And to see what a person object is, um, I've defined this. A person is any object that has a name, an age, and potentially a list of children, which are other person objects. So a person has a name and an age and can have children. And the home model is just a list of people. So if I look at the controller, this is what's happening when um, the server is being asked to render the view and use the model to send the information from the model to the view. So I've created a private um, property here to create the model because what I've done here is I've just manually created this object graph full of people. So uh, depending on how savvy you are with C Sharp, this um, could either make a lot of sense or could be hard to read. Um, so these are inline object declarations. So they're strongly typed. So this name property and the age property uh, from from the person class are known. Um, so I create three people objects. This is me and my brother and my sister. And then I create another person, my mom. And notice this one I kind of uh, spaced out a little bit because I also knew that I was going to give a value to the children property. And in that list, I've said, by the way, Marsha's three children are Alana and Donnie and Michael. So from here up, I basically have four objects. Um, and the first three objects were kind of just floating around and had nothing to do with each other until the fourth object, Marsha, got created. And now she has a reference to all three of her children. So all, those, all four of those objects are kind of related through the references in the parent. Then I have the same exact structure once again, uh, this time for my aunt, my mom's sister, and her three children. So I have two people with three children each. And then, as we saw back in the home model, the home model is nothing but a bunch of people. So at the very end, I say, um, you know, and this is the same thing as saying home model model equals new home model and then saying model.people equals new list, so on and so forth. So I could do it like that, but this is kind of shorthand in C-sharp for an inline uh, object creation. So I'm saying return a model where the people is a new list of people. It's just two people, Marsha and Gail. However, each of those people have three children each, so I'm really sending eight people objects um, to the client by um, returning this model. So the model has two people and each of the two people have three children each. And that is getting sent to the client right there as I pass it to the view. So now if I look back at this line it says the model, the people, the first person, what's their name? You know I could I could do something like this too. I can say the second person look at their children and look at the first child name. So I'll see hopefully my mom's name and my aunt's first child on the screen. So that's my mom and that's my aunt's first child, Mark. So that's, um, this is just an example of you know, there's no JSON going on here obviously yet. This is just MVC sending models to the client. What I wanted to show you um, in this video is that um, I wrote this little, well I didn't, you know, it's not a big deal. I kind of uh, used the, the built-in JavaScript serializer to um, take this big object graph. So as you can see, this method, convert model to JSON, takes that whole model that I just created as a parameter 
and it returns um, an object which is of type JSON result and it deserial or it serializes the model into basically pure text so if I use this method I'm gonna kind of hijack this right here I'm gonna say you know what I'm not even gonna return the view I'm not gonna return the view with the model at all so all this stuff that I see here just for a second just to show you something I'm not gonna see any of this when I when I load the page so I'm gonna get rid of this without this line here I don't get anything so instead I'm gonna return what I call it convert model to JSON So now what I should see, the in, all I should see in the response is a text version of the entire model broken down into pure JSON, which is kind of cool. All right, so this is the JSON representation of that object graph. And again, you know, this is hard to read, so I use like pretty print. I'm going to copy this from there to there. Go into pretty print, um, JSON pretty print. Paste it in, format it. Oh, really? Let me try the whole thing. Better. So now this is much easier to read. I can see I have people. And I can kind of see I have two people because there's a big one there and there's a big one there. And inside of this person, I have a name, an age, and a children. And the children, I can see, has three nodes inside of it. So this is much easier to read. I can kind of see the structure of the data that's going on there. Um, uh, the only reason it's really hard to read is every single quote is escaped with the backslash before. That gets annoying, but you know you learn to deal with it. The reason um, I wanted to do that was because I actually was going to need this for the next example that I was going to show you guys. So what I want to do is I want to I don't want to um, I want to find some way of communicating this string right here to the client so that I can show you how to take that on the client side and break it down into an object graph because we're gonna have to do that next week when we start um, doing Ajax calls so it's a good skill to learn now while we're focused on JSON and then next week we'll just know it automatically so the reason I kind of hijacked that and showed this on the screen was literally so I could just copy and paste this thing right here so I'm gonna get rid of that go back to what we were doing before Oops back to what we were doing before. Make this a little bigger. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to send more back than just the people. I'm actually going to send... Um, actually, I could send nothing but the raw data. But I'll send both. Public string raw data. So I'm, I want to send this, str this string back to the client as well. This is gonna be pretty easy because down here when I'm formatting my uh, oops, let's see, model. So here when I'm creating my model right here, I'm gonna do more than give it the people. I'm gonna put a comma there and I'm also gonna give it the raw data. And raw data, I'm literally just gonna paste that string. Oops, the semicolon. So that whole string, that whole raw JSON um, representation of my object graph, I'm gonna. That's going to be there on the client side too. It's going to have people, and it's also going to have raw data. And just to prove it to you, I'll come here, and I'll keep that stuff there, but I will say data, and I have a special format for this called block text, so it looks nice. So now you can see um, this is not replacing the response. I'm still getting my view. I'm getting my view, I'm getting all this stuff, I'm getting these two divs which are tapping into the model data from the razor view. The only difference is I have this div that's literally just pulling that string out of the model. This right here is the string that it's pulling out of the raw data property of the model. So that's nice. So now I kind of have the best of both worlds and um, you know I don't really uh, need you guys to fully understand um, some of the stuff that's going on here on the server side because obviously this is kind of a, a front-end um, focused class. Um, if you do understand some of this, that's all the better. But um, you know what I'm going to be asking you to do really is working with um, client-side 
serialization of JavaScript or of JSON and then working with the objects on the client side and that is what we're going to be doing in the next video. So we're going to be basically taking um, this, this string right here and we're going to be using jQuery to take that string, create, it, create an object graph out of it, pretending it's a server response, build a graph out of it and then build content based on the contents of that graph. And that will be the last video that we do.